I've just got a new Pixel 5. What should I do to set it up? Setting up your Pixel is quick and easy. The simple on-screen instructions will guide you through most of the process, so follow these and you won't go wrong. Pro tip, this is a good time to fully charge your old phone and new Pixel before starting setup. It'll make things easier when you come to copying your apps and data across. Turn on your device and start following the on-screen instructions. When prompted, insert your SIM card and your network settings should download automatically. Then connect to your Wi-Fi network. You'll normally find your network name and password on the side or underneath your router. Once you're set up on data and Wi-Fi, you'll be asked if you'd like to copy apps and data from your old smartphone to your new Pixel. If your Pixel phone is your first ever smartphone, or if you just want a fresh start, you can simply skip this step. Copying your apps and data is pretty straightforward. You can transfer things like contacts, apps, calendar, messages, photos, the list goes on. Then, once you've finished setting everything up, you can start enjoying your brand new Pixel right away. If you're coming from an Android or iOS device, you can connect both phones using the charging cable from your old phone and that quick switch adapter. Once you've connected, follow the steps on the screen, select what items you'd like to transfer and then go and make yourself a cuppa. Don't forget, if you're coming from iOS, you'll need to turn off iMessage and FaceTime. Alternatively, you can use the Google Drive app on Android or iOS to back up your old smartphone. It'll even back info up from iCloud. Once you sign into your Google account on your new Pixel, you'll find everything synced in your Google Contacts, Calendar and Photos apps. Need more cloud storage? Subscribe to Google One. Plans begin at £1.59 a month for 100 gigabytes of storage. Need a little extra help? Check out the Google support page for step-by-step -step instructions, videos, and even some cool animations. We've even added a useful link in the description below, because we're nice like that. To help keep your data safe, as a minimum, you'll need to set up a PIN, password, or pattern to unlock your device. If you want something a little more convenient, you can quickly set up the fingerprint sensor with it a couple of taps. The Pixel Imprint Fingerprint Sensor, easy for you to say, is on the back of the device. So you can use it to unlock your Pixel, but also authorize payments with Google Pay, unlock certain apps. When scanning in your first fingerprint, hold your phone as you normally would when you're using your phone. Oh, and you can add up to five fingerprints. At this point, you'll be presented with some additional options for setup that really only do take a few moments. But if you're an eager beaver and you can't wait to start using a new Pixel, you can always skip this step and come back to it later. If you have got a few minutes spare, then you can choose to add an additional email address. You could choose your Pixel's wallpaper and font size and review a list of Google apps that you might want to download and install, like Google Duo for cross-platform video calls, Google Home to add and set up Google Home or Nest devices, and Google Pay to, you know, pay for stuff. Then there's the more advanced features. Want a fast and easy way to control your phone? Google Assistant lets you use your voice to open and control apps, ask questions, set reminders, and loads more. Are you always checking your phone to see what the time is? In which case, turn on Always On Display to see the time, date, and weather without needing to unlock your device 500 times a day. And if you love discovering new music, Now Playing, one of my favorite features, can automatically identify the songs around you and show you the name and artist at the bottom of your lock screen. Okay, we are almost done. But to help you get started, you'll get a quick tutorial showing you how to navigate around your pixel using swipes and gestures. If you've never used these gestures before, then it's well worth taking a moment to familiarize yourself with them. If you prefer to use the on-screen buttons instead, head to settings, tap in the search bar at the top, type in the number three, and under gestures, you'll see three button navigation. Your Pixel is now ready to go. Congrats. The crowd goes wild. Here's one last pro tip from me before I go. If you want to get even more out of your Pixel, check out the pre-installed Pixel Tips app and you'll become a pro user like me in no time at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching.